next time for Match Game 75. Goodbye. This is Johnny Oates speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations. This is Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Rose. Tom, as a management consultant, leaves a housewife. Mrs. Rose, will you please say goodbye to your husband? This is Jim Crowley and his wife, Hunka. Jim's in the catering business. Hunka is a housewife. Mr. Crowley, it's farewell time. Fred Alger is an investment counselor. Eleanor is a housewife. Mrs. Alger, off you go. Dick and Liz Metz have been married four years. Dick's a golf pro, Liz a model. Mr. Metz, please join the other three off stage. The rest of you stay right there as we play. It had to be you. And here's your host, Ed McMahon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Johnny Olson, and welcome. It Had to Be You is a game of personal association played with married couples. You've met our players, so I think we can begin. Now, all of your husbands and wives are off stage right now, or they're unable to hear anything we say. When they come back, they'll try to pick you out on the basis of your response to certain words. So when I give you a word, try to, try to respond with a strong personal association, so strong that when your husband or wife hears it later on, they'll know that it had to be you, instantly. No one else in the whole world could have given that same response. Now, I'll give you the first word in a second, then I'll accept responses from the first three people who raise their hands. Now, your response may be either one or two words, but no proper names or capitalized words, all right? Let's see, the first word we want is the word drink, D-R-I-N-K. What are your responses to the word drink? I have a hand already from Mrs. Metz. Can't be capitalized. Cannot be capitalized. We'll try to rephrase it. Pop. Soda pop. Soda pop is fine. Soda pop is a perfect response. Is that you or your husband? It's Dick. It's Dick. He likes soda pop? Coke. Well, let's just say Coke. What do you like? Um, I like diet rice. You like what? <laughs> diet rice? Yeah. Right. That's what the commercial put down soda pop for you. Now, I think, uh, Mr. Rhodes, you were second. Uh, bull shot. Bull shot. That's, That's the drink. I know that drink. It's yeah. made with the bouillon and, and spirits. A little lemon, salt, and pepper. Exactly. It's very good the morning after, I understand. Yes. Who drinks that, you or your wife? I do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> very often? No. I say, okay, we'll put down Bullshot as your response. Who is third? Mr. Alger, I believe. Uh, bourbon water. Bourbon water. We both drink bourbon and water. Well, we'll just accept <laughs> bourbon water as our thing, and she'll probably know the answer. Okay, you've heard the responses to our first word. We'll go to the next one in just a moment. Do you have a dark garage that needs more light? Or one lonely bulb up in your attic? Or down in the basement that's not so bright? Finding your way is always a fight. Introducing Triburst from Bell & Howell. The new LED triple panel socket light that's crazy bright. It'll transform any area from dim to ultra bright. And that's all because of its 144 high intensity LED bulbs. Triburst quickly screws into a standard light socket and the hinged panels can be set at any angle for direct directional light anywhere you need it. This garage is using a 60-watt light bulb. Now look at the same garage with Triburst. It's a night and day difference. Now your garage will always be brightly lit when you get home. Just switch it on for a bright white light anywhere. Your closet can go from dark to beautiful and bright. Even light up that shed in the dark of night. And it's the best way to get around your attic without a flashlight. The secret is not one, not two, but three LED panels with 144 bulbs that angle 
angle in any direction to deliver ultra bright light where you need it most. A standard bulb can barely light this basement. It registers just 265 lumens. But watch, simply screw in triburst for a huge 4,000 lumens of light. Now that is crazy bright. Plus, the LED bulbs are super long lasting and they cost less to run than this 60 watt light. It's perfect for garages, basements, patios, attics, and more. Other lights this bright can cost up to $200. But if you want crazy bright light, get Triburst today for just $29.99. Plus, we'll even ship it to you free. But act right now and you can get a second Triburst. Just pay a separate fee. And they come with Bell & Howell's huge five-year warranty. So don't strain to see at night. Order Triburst now so everything's crazy bright. To order, call 1-800-385-1673. That's 1-800-385-1673 or go to Triburst.com. So call 1-800-385-1673 or order online at Triburst.com. Introducing Insurify, the newest way to stop wasting your money. Insurify is a free service that compares prices from different car insurance companies in one place. Insurify is used by millions of Americans and you can save money whether you already have insurance or not. Compare quotes and save money. Go to Insurify.com. Okay, the next word now that I want you to respond to is the word bathing suit. I'll accept three responses to bathing suit. I think, Mrs. Crowley, you were first with your hand up. Um, pink bikini. A pink bikini. Mm -hmm. Is it one of yours, I hope? Mm-hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Could you just describe it to us? Well, um, it's very small. I and, think you've described uh, it. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Crowley, we'll put down pink bikini. Uh, Mr. Algie, you a second. No bikini. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Osher, I hope you have an explanation for that. What, what was that all about? Well, my, uh, my wife has, uh, uh, has never had a bikini because she's never felt that her figure is quite wrongly so, but never felt that her figure was quite good enough to have a bikini. I want to get this clear. You I, disagree with your wife. That's right. It's her idea that her figure wasn't good enough for the bikini. You think it is. That's right. Okay, I don't want to get you in any kind of trouble. We'll put that down. No bikini, but you'd like to see her in one. That's right. Mrs. Metz. Tank suit. Tank suit? For you or whom? For me. I swam competitively for about eight years, and I think you'll recognize it. Tank suit. What is a tank suit exactly? It's a nylon racing suit, and it's very, very lightweight, and it goes into a ball about that big. If you want to stick it in your pocket, you can. That gives you an idea. of. Where does the name tank come from? Uh, I don't know. Swimming pool or tank? I don't oh, know. Oh, I see. As it sounded to me like it was one for a larger person, you know. <laughs> no. I, I misunderstood it. But we'll accept tank suit as your response. Very good responses, by the way. Let's try one more word. Proposal. The word is proposal. Any responses? All right, I think Mr. Algie, you were first. Down steps. Down steps. You well, fell down the steps right no, after I, you proposed. No, I proposed, uh, I proposed my wife going uh, after dinner, and we were just going down some steps. It was in San Francisco. We were up on a hill, and we were uh, was out looking out over the water, and we were just... I proposed to her as we were going down just the steps. Just kind of carried away with the yeah, spectrum. Just got carried away by the whole thing. You didn't trip on the stairs or anything? No, no, no. no. All right, down steps we'll accept as your response. Mr. Rhodes, you were second. Uh, bourbon crackers. Bourbon crackers. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be uh, kind of, uh, I don't want to say, yeah, of a, yeah, <laughs> a fixation about bourbon, but tell me about bourbon crackers, Mr. Rhodes. Uh, uh, I wonder the, he needs bullshit. <laughs> the night I proposed, my, uh, uh, I never drank bourbon. Uh, and my wife uh, did and does, and uh, I asked her to my apartment, and uh, as a gesture, I bought bourbon, and I made some hors d'oeuvres, and I proposed. I think that's just wonderful. Proposal and bourbon crackers. All right, we'll accept that. Who was third? Uh, Mrs. Crowley. Um, is it allowed to say German restaurant, or is that a proper word? Oh, uh, German is a proper word. Well, German restaurant. Could you say it some other way? Could uh, you say... Germanic, uh, I suppose, would be the same. No, uh, foreign. <laughs> how, about, how about foreign restaurant? Um, Foreign restaurant? How about roast pork? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every time I go to a German restaurant, I always have that. Roast pork. All now, right. what does that mean? Well, it just simply means that um, there is this place that we, we're very fond of, and it's the first time they ever proposed to me was there. Right after a roast pork? Uh... Right. Uh, so it's kind of, a, I still feed it to him. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't applesauce? Huh? I don't All know. Right. All right, we'll accept roast pork as your response. You've heard the responses to the three words. Let's see if the husband and wives will be able to figure out who said what. While they're coming back out on stage, here's a word that every woman likes to hear about from her hero. You know who that is. 
It's the White Knight. I don't need it. I don't need it. Well, I certainly do. The woman who needs real cleaning power in her laundry detergent needs new Ajax. For really getting out the tough dirt, there's just one Ajax. Ajax gets everything so clean and white and... Well, just look. The kids have been wearing these shirts for months. And they're still clean and white. Maybe not everybody needs this much clean power. But my kids get extra dirty. And their father shows them how. That's why I need all the extra power I can get in the detergent. The woman who needs real cleaning power in her laundry detergent needs new Ajax. Is your car so messy it's beginning to look like a rolling dumpster? It's not your fault. You just have no place to put your trash. You need the Backseat Butler, the tidy trash can for your car that goes anywhere and holds all your garbage on the go. Backseat Butler fits any vehicle, from cars and crossovers to SUVs and trucks. The secret is the adjustable straps that easily secure it to any seat back or console, while the specially designed top keeps trash contained and out of sight. Backseat Butler also has mesh pockets all around for easy storage of tissues and wipes, masks and hand sanitizer, pads, pens, and more. Inside, Backseat Butler has a surprising amount of room. It can hold up to two gallons worth of trash. Even better, it's completely waterproof, so you never have to worry about leaks ruining your car's interior. And if you accidentally drip going in, the stain-resistant nylon easily wipes clean. Plus, when it's full, emptying it is fast and easy. You can also use it with disposable garbage bags to make your life even easier. That's right, Backseat Butler fits any vehicle, holds up to two gallons of trash, is waterproof and leak-proof, and helps you stay organized, too. So stop driving around in a rolling dumpster. Get Backseat Butler, the tidy trash can for your car. Yours today for the special TV price of just $19.99. It's guaranteed never to leak or fail or your money back. But wait, act now and you can get a second Backseat Butler for a family member or friend. Just pay a separate fee, and the shipping is free. You can get both for this special low price, plus Plus free shipping, but supplies are limited, so don't delay. Order yours today. To order, you can call 1-800-277-0818, or you can go online at BackseatButler.com. Don't delay. Call 1-800-277-0818, or you can go online at BackseatButler.com. Order now. It's a tricky word to say. My stomach hurts. But a fun game to play. You pronounce it. Let's try it together now. Tom Kennedy hosts the game of fill-ins and villains. It's new to Buzzer. It's tomorrow starting at 7 on Buzzer. All right. All of our players are now back on stage. Let me tell you that we're starting out each couple with $50 to your credit. At the end of the game, the one with the highest score will be our winner, and we will double that amount of money. Everyone else gets whatever you have in your account at that time. Now, the first word we gave your partners was the word drink. In just a moment, I'll tell you what their first responses were. If it sounds like something your husband or wife probably said, then raise your hand. If you're right, we'll add $30 to the score. However, if you're wrong, there's a $10 penalty, okay? The first word was drink, and one response we got was bourbon water. Somebody said bourbon water. I think Mrs. Rose... <laughs> oh, golly. I think this group parties together. I... <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Rhodes, you were first. Why did you raise your hand so quickly? Well, that's my very favorite drink in the whole wide world. Bourbon water is your very favorite? I think it probably is some other people's, too. Well, um, let's find out. Who was the one that mentioned bourbon water? Would you turn around, Mrs. Alger? <laughs> He's the guilty one. I, understand. I raised my hand. Yeah, I know you were. You were just, uh, <laughs> just a little bit late. I think even Mr. Crowley raised his hand. There's probably a nice story here about bourbon and water, but I have to penalize first the Rhodes, because you were wrong in this instance. We have to subtract $10. And, Mrs. Alger, because you didn't get it right either, we have to subtract it. I'm sorry, okay? Here's another response. Soda pop. I said drink. Somebody said soda pop. Who was that? 
That was, uh... All right, Mr. Matt, you're a little hesitant. You're well, sure. I, I am a little hesitant, but I think that probably would be me. Would you tell us the story? Well, I drink a lot of soda pop. A lot of... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem to gain any weight for you. You're nice and Well, slow. I've tried that, too, but nothing. <laughs> Have you ever tried bourbon and water? <laughs> No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help, no, you are. You're exactly right, Mr. Metz. We'll add $30 to your score. Okay. Now, someone said bull shot. When I said drink, someone said bull shot. I'll try All right, now. Mr. Rose, you're going to try. You're trying anything that uh, sounds good. Right. He just likes to drink. He loves bull shots. Well, you're and exactly... he took, took him to a football game a couple of weeks ago. How'd the game turn out? It was warm. <laughs> How did he turn out? <laughs> okay, you're right. We'll add thirty dollars to your There you go. All right, we finished with drink. The next word was bathing suit, and we heard this response: no bikini. Somebody, when I said bathing suit, said no bikini. <laughs> Mrs. Alger, you have your hand up immediately. Would you tell us why? I don't wear one. I don't have one. Well, I think that's better, <laughs> that you don't have one. <laughs> don't say you don't wear one. In these times, you just never know. Uh, he thinks, he was saying something about someone in your family didn't think that you looked good in a, a bikini. Was that him? Probably. Or me. <laughs> no, he said it was you. He said he thought you looked fine and you could wear a bikini. And you're exactly right, so let's add $30 to your score. <laughs> He was really sticking up for you. He said you should get one. Now, how about pink bikini as a response to bathing suit? Yes, Mr. Crowley. That was my wife. She does, in fact, have a pink bikini. How does she look in it? Uh, fine. All right. <laughs> That's all you're going to say. Yeah. Huh? Just fine. All right, it is just fine. We'll add $30 to the score since you're right. When I said bathing suit, someone said tank suit. Tank suit. What does that mean to anybody? All right, Mr. Metz. Well, that, that would have to be my wife, because uh, she wears tank suits sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, she was a, uh, I better explain that. She was a swimmer at one time, uh -huh. and uh, she wore a tank suit, so. That's what she told us, so you're okay. right. We'll add $30 to your score. <laughs> All right. That completes word number two. How about the third word? Proposal. There's a good word. Somebody said, roast pork. When I said proposal, yes, Mr. Crowley. That was my wife because, in fact, we were uh, having dinner over roast pork. I proposed. Had you had dinner over roast pork before? I'm sure I had. Yes. <laughs> You've heard of trichinosis, haven't you, sir? <laughs> but the roast pork dinner just did it. Just, uh... Always well done. And this was at a restaurant. She didn't cook it for you or anything. This was at a restaurant. Uh huh. And have you gone back to that restaurant since? We have, in fact, gone back a lot. Are oh, you going to have it enshrined? Well, uh, if my wife would have it, we might. All right, might that's be. very good. You're exactly right, sir. We're going to add $30 to your score. When I said proposal, somebody said down steps. That was a response, down steps. Mrs. Alger. I believe that is my husband. Uh -huh. Because he proposed as we were going down some outside steps from a restaurant. All right, you're exactly right. We'll add $30 to your score. <laughs> now, I said proposal, and somebody said bourbon crackers. Who could that be? Uh, yes, Mrs. Rose. Here we got bourbon in there. <laughs> I know I'm right. <laughs> it happened over bourbon and crackers. Yes, would you and like... And he's very much of a scotch drinker, and I thought it was terribly important that I learn how to drink scotch. And this was the first weekend that he said we both can drink bourbon. So the bourbon set us down so I know. And he fixed crackers. He fixed crackers. Isn't that <laughs> nice? With cheese and a little tidbits. Can yeah. you tell me, uh, do you still drink uh, bourbon? Oh, yeah. You've, you've decided that's the drink for you. All right. You're exactly right. Let me add $30 <laughs> to your score. Well, at the end of the very first round, it's awfully close. Two of our players, the Crowleys and the Mets, are tied with $110. The other players have $100. We'll be back for the second round of It Had to Be You in just a moment. But you know, it's a real special present. When it's something that's homemade, it seems to mean a lot more, as this is. Water heater's all fixed, Miss Lee. Josephine, you got me out of a jam, so I'm giving you some jelly. 
Grape jelly? Mmm, my very favorite. Made today. The proof is right in my sink. Grape stains over food stains? They're extra tough. What you need is new extra strength Comet. My cleanser's good. Comet can bleach out those stains. Better than that cleanser. You serious? Run the water and I'll show you. I'll sprinkle Comet on one stain, your cleanser on the other. Wait a bit while they work. No rubbing. Now, drain and rinse. Yeah, see? Comet's the stain-removing cleanser. It sure bleached better. Mine left some stain. Comet has super chlorinol. Disinfects better, too. I found Comet just in time. Gonna make more jelly and more stain. You saw it yourself. Comet bleaches out tough food stains better than any other leading cleanser. Now, for our next round, I'm going to ask you all to change places. You folks in the back row, would you please go off stage where you won't be able to hear what we say? You folks up front, please move round to the back. We're playing It Had to Be You with your host, Ed McMahon, and we'll be back in just a moment. Let's see what happens when sweet old Aunt Tilly tries to eat just one delicious potato chip. What is that infernal racket? Raised potato chips, Aunt Tilly. But you can't eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be preposterous. Of course I can. Mmm, delightful. I'll have another. Uh-uh. I said one. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I knew she couldn't do it. <laughs> and nobody else can. Lay's has the secret. A potato you can slice this thin makes a chip so crisp, so light, you can eat a million of them. But nobody can eat just one. Another flavor favorite from Frito-Lay. Delicious. Hi, Grandma. I played baseball today. Oh, that's great. What position did you play? First base. <gasps> That's what Grandpa used to play. <laughs> when our hearing wouldn't allow us to use a regular phone, it made us feel isolated. It became difficult to communicate with our friends and family. Clear Captions was an easy solution for us. Clear Captions provides captions on a phone, like captioning on your TV, so you can see what the caller is saying live as they say it. Making it easy to understand and respond immediately. There is no insurance or Medicare required. Clear Caption service is provided at no cost to you through a federally funded program. We deliver, install, and train you on how to use your phone, all at no cost to you. Give your loved ones the independence and connection they deserve. Call now to see if you qualify to get a Clear Captions phone at no cost to you. Call 1-800-351-2640. That's 1-800-351-2640. Enjoy amazing quests and bonuses and win huge jackpots. Download House of Fun for free and get 100 free spins. Here's a direct question. How long are you planning on keeping your new smile? Yeah, that's why Smile Direct Club has their lifetime smile guarantee. Get a doctor-directed smile you love. Guaranteed for life. Your life. Choose Smile. Choose Direct. Smile Direct Club. We have uh, turned the tables on our players now. The folks up front now have a chance to hit the bullseye with a very clever and smart response. We'll see how good you are. Remember, we want a very strong personal association so we know that it had to be you. And the first word is the word clock. Clock. I'll accept the first three responses to the word clock. You're about to raise your hand, Ms. Algie. Yeah, Do you I'll want to take it back? Mind. Change your mind, all right? All right, Mr. Crowley, I think, is up first. Yes, sir. I'm going to say off radio. Off radio. Would you explain that, please? Well, our method of being awakened in the morning is a clock the cl clock radio method. Mine too. And uh, it's my wife's job to get up and turn it off. Why is it your wife's job to get up and turn it off? Because, uh, well, it's my job to go out after, after getting out of bed. It's oh, I job see. To get me out she of turns bed. the clock off and you go to work. That's right. it. Well, nice arrangement. We'll call off radio as your response. Now, I think Mrs. Rhodes was second. 
I'm going past. I can't see I had a fare. All right, then, Mrs. Alger. Always slow. Always slow. You have a clock that's always slow? In the bedroom. In your bedroom. That's the worst place for an always slow Very clock. Is your husband... Yes, we uh, have to turn it up a few minutes every night. Is your husband late for work, I guess? No, no. We Every night we move it up a little bit. I see. <laughs> All right. All right. Always slow, we'll accept. And now Mr. Matt ties his hand up. Can't see. Can't see. Right. You can't see the clock? Never. Why never not? can see it. Well, when I'm in bed, uh, I want to see what time it is in the morning or at night. I can never see it. It's mm -hmm. always, it's either in another room or it's, it's, I can never see it. It's hard to see if it's in another room. Well, yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll accept can't see as your response to clock. Our next word is pillows. Pillows. I want three responses to the word pillows. Yes, now you're ready, Mrs. Rose. Okay, overhead. Overhead. Because he always, when he sleeps, he wants that pillow over his head. Now, wait a minute now. Let me understand it. He sleeps with a pillow over his head? Over his head. Does he sleep with one under his head, too? No, he takes his pillow and puts it over his head. I don't know why. Does he have his little duck with him? <laughs> oh, he's going to kill you when he comes out here. All right, Mrs. Rose. Overhead was your answer. Mr. Crowley. I think two will suffice, because the word two, my wife sleeps with two pillows. Two pillows. Okay, we'll the put that down. I don't know. If you don't know the reason, maybe we'll find out. We'll two put down two as your response anyway. Mr. Metz. Four pillows. Four pillows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got a bed. We bought a bed yesterday. That's and nice. We got two new pillows, so now we have four. We I have see. four pillows. And you're sleeping, are you each sleeping with double pillows? Uh, right. Well, actually, we have five, but four. <laughs> All right, I won't, I won't pursue that any further, Mr. Uh, Metz, but we'll put down four pillows and hope that they'll know. <laughs> that turned out to be a better word than we planned. Here's word number three, dog. Responses, Mrs. Rhodes, you're first again. Neighbors. Neighbors dog. Is that because it's friendly or what? What's the story? Well, Halloween, we had some um, people come trick-or-treating in our lane that uh, raised quite a fuss, and the neighbor sticked his dog on them. Wow. And uh, anyway, it was quite a story, so I think he might know what that You'll is. You'll probably remember that. All right, we'll put down neighbor, just neighbors, I guess. Neighbor. Neighbor's dog. Okay. No, possibly, uh, All right, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Alger, rather. Uh, father Bite. Father Bite. <laughs> you mean Father Bite's dog? <laughs> He's a newspaper man. I know him. No, what, what does it mean? His father used to have a dog that was always biting people for years. What kind of a dog? About, I don't remember. All right, well, we'll put that down as your response. Father, father's... Down. Bite. That's apostrophe S bite. Is that what you want? Father's bite. Well, or father. Father bite. Okay, yeah. father bite is it, Mr. Crowley. I'm going to say not here. Meaning, uh, we both love dogs, but uh, being apartment dwellers, uh, we're waiting on uh, getting our own home before we have a dog. I see. Not here, then. In other words, you'd like to have one, but you can't have it where you presently are. All right, those are the responses to the three words. Let's bring our partners back in, and we'll pause for this. You know, when a child isn't feeling well, you'll find that the mother suffers just as well. So listen to this message. Hi, Mike. Hi, Tootsie Home. She has a cold, and the doctor wants her to stay in bed. Oh, does she hurt and have a temperature? No, I gave her aspirin. They are children's aspirin. That's what my mother gives me. That's because she loves you. And when you feel better, she feels better, too. Mothers are like that. Yeah, they are. Always rely on new orange-flavored Bayer aspirin for children. You and your child will both feel better fast. If you're one of the millions of people who sometimes rely on a laxative, take the best laxative, Philips Milk of Magnesia. When thousands of doctors across the country were asked, do you ever recommend Milk of Magnesia? The overwhelming majority said they did. You see, Philips Milk of Magnesia is a laxative plus an antacid. No single-purpose laxative can give such complete yet gentle relief. Take Philips Milk of Magnesia, the kind of laxative doctors recommend. Recommend. Get a free mesothelioma book from mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. That's why we offer this free book. Call toll-free at 1-800-300-9252. I was just gonna go for my run, but I got a delivery. It's hungry root delivery day. I'm so excited to see what's in this box. All right, let's open it up and see what I got. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, I'm really excited about this.
Every new day offers opportunities to connect, chances to motivate and inspire, moments to express well-deserved thank yous and congratulations with products that bring smiles, celebration, and long-lasting impressions. There's certainty in that. 4imprint gives you that certainty with the right promotional products and a caring, trusted team dedicated to your success. Creating meaningful connections starts at 4imprint.com. 4imprint. For certain. Cover it up. That's what I did when I started losing my hair. But then I realized I could actually do something. Now I use Keeps, the easiest way to keep my hair. And it only costs a dollar a day, which means no more covering up. Get started at Keeps.com. Germs. Get started at Keeps.com. Germs invade through your nose, the body's air filter for trapping allergens, dirt, and viruses. But how do you clean your nose? It's easy with Navage. Navage uses powered suction to help flush out germs that cause congestion or worse can make you sick. Over 2 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage has over 70,000 online reviews averaging 4.7 stars because it works and it's easy to use. Navage, clean nose, healthy life. Now the front row has returned, and it's time to find out how well you do with your partner's responses. We asked for the word clock, and we got this response. Always slow. All right, Mr. Rose. Um, my watch has been slow for a very long time. How long would you say? Uh, I guess it's two months. Two months? Yeah. What are you doing about it? Trying to get my wife to take it to the jewelers to have it fixed. And she just won't help you? Uh, no. No. Okay. Well, she didn't help you much today either. She didn't mention anything about that. So it cost you $10. Sir, you answered improperly. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Alger, uh, you said something last time. What did you say? Always slow. Isn't your clock always slow, Mr. Alger? Well, I guess maybe it is. I just <laughs> <laughs> you just don't care about it, is that it? I uh, didn't notice. She mentioned that every night before you went to bed, the, the last thing you did was to turn the clock forward. Is that right? That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, it's so late in the day. Who remembers? All right. We have to subtract $10, however, from your score. Someone else said off radio. When I said clock, they said off radio. Off radio. Mrs. Crowley. Um, we have a radio alarm clock. Mm -hmm. and that's the only uh, thing that I can find here. That's the only thing, but that's exactly right. You're right, lady. We have to add $30 for your score. <laughs> I said clock. Somebody said can't see. Can't see. Yes, Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> Uh, you're more positive now than you were the last time. Uh, we recently uh, moved the furniture around in the bedroom, and uh, there's a lamp sort of in the way of the clock, and it can't and be you, seen. You can't see it, it rather useless. From where you are. Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to be further in the dark than it was. <laughs> because you're wrong, sir. <laughs> we have to subtract another $10 from your store. Uh, who in the back row said anything about a clock that they couldn't see? Mrs. Metz turned around. Don't you have a clock that's out of sight? We only have I don't mean that in the modern teenage term of out of sight. I mean, you can't see it. We only have one clock, and yes. that's what I expected to hear. Only one, because we're always complaining about it. And you can never see it, that's true, because it's always in the wrong room. I, I, when, I, <laughs> when I get up in the morning, I take it with me wherever I'm getting made up or whatever I'm doing, and I plug it in in the other room. <laughs> uh, I'd like to have a film of that household. All right, we have to subtract $10 from your store. Well, that was an expensive go-round on the word clock. Let's move to the second word. It's pillows. Pillows. Someone said two. T-W-O. When I said pillow, someone said two. Did you raise your hand, Mr. Alger? Yes. I, I did. We have two pillows on our bed. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> uh, Let me be the first to congratulate you. <laughs> You need more of an explanation. I, I mean, it's, it's such a rare thing, it's shocked us all. <laughs> Mr. Alger, I'm only having some fun with you. I, a lot of people might, might say that, two pillows, but in this instance, it was not your wife that said it. So we have to subtract $10. Who was it back there mentioned two pillows? Mrs. Crowley? 
Oh. Right around with you. Yes, I know. I sleep on two pillows. You sleep on two pillows. That's that luxury. How many pillows does he get? None? One. <laughs> he gets one, you get two. Which you gets now get pulled away occasionally. Well, you get thirty dollars right now for being Oh no, I beg your pardon, you weren't right. I had to tell you, you have to subtract ten dollars from your store. I almost I felt so good about you on those two pillows, I almost gave you the money. All right. Someone else said four pillows. Two wasn't enough, they said four pillows. Yes, Mrs. Matt. Well, we just acquired two more. Two more. Yeah, but actually it's five because he has one. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that you're right and award you the money. You'll get thirty dollars. <laughs> but my curiosity is just overwhelming me, and I. What is the What's the story on the fifth pillow? Could you just tell us? <laughs> Would you like to come back next week and think about it? No, he has arthritis in his oh, neck. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the third response. The third response was overhead. Somebody said, when I said pillows, they said overhead. Mr. Rose, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> We, we just uh, uh, hung two pictures, and my wife was quite concerned that they each be right over each pillow, even and lined up. I see. That's, that's wrong. That's a, that's a wonderful story, uh, Mr. Rose. It's one of the biggest lies I've ever heard. Would you describe to the audience how you sleep at night? How do you sleep when you go to bed? Oh, it, yes, at times I do try to drown out the noise. And, oh, I, <laughs> no, you're, it's nothing else. It's an, I thought it may, may have dated back to childhood. A lot of children, when they were young, used to snuggle at the pillow, pull the covers up no, close. I pull one over my head so I can't hear my children, yes. Well, that was the right answer. You gave the wrong answer for the pillows overhead, so we have to subtract $10 from the score. We're sorry. But we had a lot of fun with that answer anyway. Let's move on to the third word, and that is dog. And someone said, not here. When I said dog, they said, not here. That will mean something to somebody, we hope. Not here. Anybody? We have to call time. I have to call time. Um, who said not here in the back row? That's right, Mrs. Crowley. You thought so. You started to look around. You don't have a dog now, do you? No, I've never had one. <laughs> well, see, it's not here. <laughs> this, is, this is another place that you don't have a Now, your husband mentioned, and I, I think that you are going to get a dog as soon as you have a proper surroundings for him, a little oh, yeah. country estate and so on. Right. Are you sure About you want to... 20 years in. 20 years from now. <laughs> Don't count on that soon, Mr. Crowley. Okay, we have to subtract $10 from your score. I'm sorry. Okay, someone said neighbors. When I said dog, they said neighbors. Yes, Mr. Rose. Um, on Halloween, uh, several thousand children from another... Uh, <laughs> area inundated our neighborhood and our neighbor got so upset that he loosed his dog as we add thirty dollars to the score let's hear it from mr rose and i just figured out why you have the pillow over your head you don't want to hear that dog bark i don't want to hear the children <laughs> all right how about father's bite father bite rather when i said dog somebody said father bite who said that mr Elf. oh that's Probably uh, me, because I always play a game with the children. Uh, uh, <laughs> Father bites the children, is that the game? <laughs> well, it's a silly game we play. <laughs> uh, I always pretend I'm out, I lie in the bed, say, after I get home from work, and the children come and they, they bounce on me. And, uh, and I say, I, we go through a little routine. <laughs> This had better be right. <laughs> and, uh, and I ask them if they've had their dinner, and they say they're waiting for their dinner, and I say, well, I'm terribly hungry, too. Maybe I'll have a leg or something. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they always squeal and say, no, Daddy, no, it's just a game we play. <laughs> have you ever thought of sleeping with a pillow over your head? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a wonderful story, but that's not the right story in this uh -huh. instance. As we understand it, it's, was it his father, uh, Mr. Feldman? Your father had a dog that used to bite everybody? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
That was the story we wanted. We'll have to subtract ten dollars. I'm sorry. But thank you for telling us that wonderful story. I wish you'd stop. <laughs> no, I wanted to hear the end of it. I do the same game. I play. I make hot dogs out of my kids. I cover them with mustard and relish and sauerkraut, and I take a bite. I do the same thing. So all fathers play that game. We'll be right back to check the final score in just a moment. You know, in football or in business, any old pro's advice really counts, as you'll find out. Okay, Mr. Hughes. Maybe we can have lunch another day. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Steve, how's my insurance salesman? Not so good, Mr. Tittle. Well, my prospects sure keep me at arm's length. You think I had bad breath? That's no problem. Here's the best insurance that an insurance salesman can have. What's that? Listerine. I tried mouthwashes. It's like gargling with soda pop. But not Listerine antiseptic. It has a clean, fresh taste. Besides, Listerine kills germs. Germs? Sure. Germs can cause bad breath, but Listerine really blitzes them. Okay, I'll try it. Hey, yeah. Isn't that Hughes, the one you've been trying to sell? Yeah, it sure is, and he just signed a big one thanks to a little help from an old pro. You mean Listerine? No, I mean you and Listerine. Listerine keeps your mouth clean, your breath fresh, hour after hour. Stunning! You did this? You could totally be a designer. Rugs USA is my secret weapon. They make it easy to find a rug that pulls a room together. Wait, are these prices for real? Yes. Go to RugsUSA.com slash TV for an extra 10% off now. Always free shipping. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. I've fallen and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way. With any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately, and batteries never need charging. I was having a stroke, and I was scared to death. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Life Alert is a lifesaver. My husband is alive because of Life Alert. Life Alert is the lifesaver to keep me out of assisted living. Life Alert saves a life every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-901-2828. That's 1-800-901-2828. Call now, 1-800-901-2828. A great night's sleep is so important to your health and well-being. Sheik's Performance Sheets help you sleep cool and dry. Sheik's are the world's most breathable, moisture-wicking, ridiculously soft sheets with superior stretch. Go to trysheets.com to save over $100 today. We need some help. I know. I'm going to cashnetusa.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. Next, it's the Lost Take Your Choice pilot, where players guess what their partners will get right. Then, on Make the Connection, stars guess the missing links. Stay tuned. Let's have a look now at our final scores. The Algiers have $70. The Rhodes have $100. The Crowleys, $120. Our big winners are the Mets with $130. We'll double your score. Congratulations. And actually, we double your score, so you get $200.